It's a game from a terror attack. I mean, any moron out there knows this. I want to ask the police this. You're not morons. On average, are you? No. Who would stand a game from a new Oklahoma City? We need the Jeopardy music. Da 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 da. Who? 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 Well, the Democratic memos, the in the Financial Times of London, Shapiro, one of Obama's supporters, Robert Shapiro says we need a new Oklahoma City to get our agenda through. Or 9/11. And, and that's telegraphing to people. But see, the little baby birds of the Democratic Party are, are, are sitting there begging for some food. Cheap, cheap, why aren't you false flagging? Cheap, cheap. We could be the heroes and even as our enemies. Cheap, cheap. But mama doesn't or daddy doesn't want to vomit all the aborted babies in, you know, to feed them or whatever that are in the tummy. That's what they live off of, you know. That's an allegory for the New York Times where they say I actually believe that. Because they know we're all watching. See, we caught them with the underwear bomber being drugged and put on the plane by the CIA and it later came out in Congress. See, we, we exposed your stage chemical attack against Assad to blame on him. We know your games, dummy. We have your playbook now. You want to go watch the video. Glenn Beck says government will stage false flag terror attack to discredit opposition. And you know what station owners have told us? They're getting Democrat sem sem seminar callers calling them up saying, get Alex Jones off. But they're having people call saying, Glenn Beck's criticizing Alex Jones, take him off. Well, that's really weird, isn't it? That's what the Vegas station told us. I mean, does Glenn Beck not think, no, they're going to come after him after they get rid of me? Scott in Wisconsin, what do you think about all this? Very interesting, Scott. All right, I guess Scott isn't there. Kelly in uh, New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. Uh, how you doing, Alex? I'm calling your show today, and it may be off the subject matter, but um, I have listened to many of your shows. In particular, I've seen one of your shows with Dr. John Hall is from San Diego, Texas, regarding targeted individuals. Sure, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Uh, listen, here's the deal. I don't really screen calls. But I said I wanted to hear from people about the shift in the country with the Tea Party. I appreciate your call. People walk all over this show because we don't screen calls like everybody else, and I'm not mad at you. It's just it's going to end now. Uh, let's talk to Terry in South Carolina. Go ahead. You're on the air. Trey. Hey, Alex. Uh, actually, it's Trey, but it's all right. Um, what the hell? I just said it. Go ahead. About what, what you're uh, talking about. Um, I was actually tuning in at MSNBC, which I rarely do. But uh, I was listening to it, and what they were saying, I think it's the Ed show. I don't ever watch it, but um, they were attacking you. Yeah, it looks like a and giant, was, fat, uh, force-fed uh, woodchuck. Yeah, that's, that's right. He does. You know, and the way they talk, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know, just over and over. The same thing, repeatedly. And it's, it's, it is. it's 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 is. It's an open attack on the Tea Party. But you can see across yeah, the Yeah, well, I mean, I, mean, what, I mean, that's actually run by the White House officially. So what were they saying? Um, he was talking about he. There was a picture of you on on the screen, and you, you, they put a tinfoil hat on you, talking about how uh, that uh, I, I can't remember. It was like a a piece of his program, and you were the highlight of it. But the way I looked at it, Alex, is a uh, you know, it's it's like a uh, the girl said in Wolf of Wall Street when he was getting angry about the Forbes article. He she told him there's no no such thing as bad publicity, and that's the truth, you know. I'm glad that they're doing that because now they're getting your name out there on mainstream news. And Here's the problem with it. They don't have a, a big audience. So I agree with you that, it, and their audience is so brainwashed and so stupid that they won't listen anyways. Okay? I mean, I mean they, they use their audience like a toilet. I mean, they just give them the worst info around, total disinformation and lies. But it, why it's dangerous is it signifies because they're White House run on record. They take direct media matters, talking points from the White House, load it in their teleprompters. That it's kind of creepy to have Sauron, a.k.a. Obama, with his red eye looking at me. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's, going, it's happening all across the board now, you know. And uh, the, the worst part about it is, is 
is uh, I actually when I was at don't work talk day, bad about the woodchuck. I gotta go, brother. Thank you. From hackers and identity thieves to government spies, your online privacy has never been more at risk. Go to unseennow.com and learn how their unparalleled encryption tools can keep your communications totally secure. Unseennow.com offers email, chat, voice and video calling, and cloud storage all for free. It's never been more important to lock down your digital life, and now you can. Stop Big Brother in his tracks. Learn how at unseennow.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. Silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at Silverlungs.com. That's Silverlungs.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-478-9638 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-478-9638 to take your call now. Call 1-800-478-9638. That's 1-800-478-9638. Again, 1-800-478-9638. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners. Visit FreeCovertKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and to claim yours free. It's the same knife you've seen in airline magazines for $29.95. But today, it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. Go to FreeCovertKnife.com. Go now. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER Silver 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. It began with the forging of the great rings. Three were given to the elves, immortal wisest and fairest of all beings. Seven to the Dwarf Lords, great miners and craftsmen of the mountain halls. And nine, nine rings were gifted to the race of men who above all else desire power. For within these rings was bound the strength and will to govern each race. But they were all of them deceived, for another ring was made. 
In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. And into this ring, he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. David Rockefeller. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. A few weeks ago, we got contacted by a very interesting individual, John DiBartola, who heads up the MiddleEarthNetwork.com. I know it's very popular. And I've read Lord of the Rings. I like it. I like the whole allegory. And I've uh, read some of the writings uh, and interviews. There's not a lot of them. With J.R.R. Tolkien, saying that, no, indeed, growing up in South Africa and then being a linguist and archetypal historian... Uh, on European cultures, uh, and of course, I think I think it was in World War One, wasn't it? Or was it World War Two? That that it was World War One. That it was an allegory to a lot of the way politics and the world really worked. And he was obviously a really smart guy. Uh, I've forgotten quite a bit of it. You know, read the lore of it a lot of years ago, but clearly that's why it's powerful. And then I was sent some of the quotes that haven't been released yet. But I guess when we do an article about it, we can uh, break some of this down. So some of this is quotes by Tolkien. They're remastering the audio recorded in the 50s right now. We do have some never-before-heard clips today. And then hopefully in the next few weeks, we can release the really juicy clip. Uh, the cold-hearted wizards, in their quest for knowledge and power, were only good at destroying things. In his final salute to the assembly of hobbit lovers, Tolkien said that Sauron is gone, but the descendants of the hateful shire-polluting wizard Saruman are everywhere. The hobbits of the world have no magic weapons left to fight them. We have that quote. But he adds with a robust and hopeful declaration, and yet the gentle hobbits, may I conclude by giving you a toast, the hobbits, and they may outlast all the wizards. Tolkien never again attended anything like this in his honor. So a pretty reclusive guy, and most of the audio and things have been sat on by the family, which is a fine, that's the family. Uh, but uh, this is an interesting little giblet for uh, Tolkienites out there, I wouldn't call myself one of those, but I find it interesting. I like a lot of literature, both fiction and nonfiction, certainly well written. And I wouldn't call myself a crazed fan of it, but I like it. The big thing is it can reach out to the hundreds of millions of Tolkien fans out there. And it's very exciting. So I'm, gl uh, so I'm glad uh, that we're going to be able to break some of this down. We have our guest on Skype. We're going to get him back here in a moment and talk to him a little bit about it. And we have some of that audio that we're going to play here today. But uh, just always interesting, the type of stuff that uh, comes through this radio broadcast. And, and my association with occasionally talking about the allegory of the New World Order, the all-seeing eye, the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati, the all-seeing eye on the dollar bill, the New World Order, led us to Viggo Mortensen, uh, who's a listener of the show and came on and is a frequent listener. And uh, the guy that plays Gimli, he's been on. He's a listener. What's his name? Famous actor. Uh, he's been on the show through that. Uh, and, and, and so, John, I appreciate uh, you coming on the broadcast. Uh, J John DeBortola, thank you so much. For th this is a brief segment, long segment coming up. Uh, and I guess you're there smoking your Hobbit pipe right now. Uh, so, 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 so tell us about how you came along into this and when we're going to get, uh, uh, get to hear the whole really cool final speech he gave. Right. Well, thank you, Alex. Thank you for bringing me on. It's a, it's a great honor to, to, to be on here today. I really love that you played the Conan, the barbarian theme uh, before the segment here, and it made, made me get my sword in hand to be, to wage war on the orcs today. So once again, thank you. I really appreciate you. That was a Texan uh, came up with Conan a champion boxer, and then his mother died, so he committed suicide. Who was that, Robert E. Howard, I think? Rob Robert E. Howard, very yeah. good, yes. A absolutely, a Texan. So, uh, so yeah, the tape, uh, really, it's a miraculous story how this all, all came to be. Um, a fellow by the name of Rene von Rosenberg, a friend of ours, who runs the Tolkien shop in Holland, he was doing research for a white paper he was creating uh, for the Tolkien Society. He Stay there. We're just whetting their appetite. This is a really exciting story, okay. folks, because a full interview. I mean, Tolkien was against the New World Order. I think it's clear. We'll be right back. This is going to be newsworthy. Stay with us.
We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. <laughs>